everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is just gonna be a how to look more awake look. I woke up this morning and was still pretty exhausted and I saw it in my face when I went to go wash my face. So this is just my how to look more awake look. It's not, it's everything super, super light and bright and yeah. So if you wanna see how to get this look and how to look more awake, then just keep watching. And as always, just please subscribe. All right, good morning, guys. Well, whenever you're watching this, hello. So first thing that we're going to do, obviously, just moisturize your lips. After you've been sleeping and all that, you really want to keep sure that you keep them, keep sure, make sure you keep the moisture in your face. This foundation that I'm using, I am using because it kind of gives me more of a luminous finish as opposed to my powder foundation or my liquid powder foundation. And I'm really, really liking this for the winter because we all need some moisture in the winter. And it's just the Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline. Always make sure that you use either a BB cream or something on your face, especially if you're like me. Whenever I wake up, I am very red. So this NYX concealer is going to go clearly under my eyes because hello, goodbye dark circles, ain't nobody got time for you. And then I'm going to also just use a Maybelline Age Rewind because it is super, super light. And I'm going to use that to kind of brighten up under my eyes. This stuff is way too light for my skin, but to mix it with the NYX concealer is pretty good. I like it. Obviously, that beauty blender is just going to make everything flawless. So, yeah, go for it. More or less, I just want to give you guys some like tips and tricks as to what to do to make yourself look more awake. My face is very tired in the morning whenever I get up, so I feel like I can pro this up. I am going to set my face because nothing's worse than having your, your makeup run and you have like red splotches underneath your face. Holy heck. I'm going to apologize for the sun coming in. Obviously, I can't be like, oh, go away, sun, but it was ridiculous. I am going to do my eyebrows. This aqua brow really just gives me life. It stays in place all day long. It is amazing. I love it. Love, love, love it, and it's so easy to work with. I feel like I just have to do my brows every day. If you guys don't do your brows, then you obviously don't have to do them, but... For me, since I started doing them, I'm like, how, could, how did I ever not do this? And I think that giving your brows a nice arch is really going to help wide eye, wide eye. Make your eyes wide. I'm like so tongue-tied today. This is a palette from, I think it's Wet n Wild, and it's Walking on Eggshells. And it is just a beautiful palette to really make your eyes brighten up. The white color that I'm using right now is just a shimmery white. It's actually the perfect dupe for MAC, what is it, MAC Shroom. And then the bottom color, I forget what it is. I watched, I watched about it on Toddy's channel the other day, I think. And I forget what color it is, but it's another dupe. The middle color is a brown color that isn't too dark and isn't too light. And it's just so pretty. And this really just brightens up your eyes. Whenever you're tired, you don't want to make your eyes dark or give yourself like a smoky eye or something. Because, girl, you're just going to look exhausted. This is just going to give me some depth. And I know that you usually shouldn't use like shimmery shadows on your eyes. These shadows aren't super shimmery. They are enough to give me my happiness from some shimmer, but they are still not like overly shimmery. This pink color is amazing. It is so light and it just goes on and really just brightens up my whole, whole eye and I love it. Of course, another trick to do is besides using just your light shadows is to go in with your your highlighter color, which is I'm going to use just that white color, um, and put that into your inner tear duct. That is really going to make the inner corners of your eyes look super bright. You could as well line your eyes with like a vanilla color or a cream color. Um, I did not today, but you can do that and that would work perfect. For my upper lids, I'm only going to line my upper lids. I'm not going to line my lower lids because that will make your eyes smaller. I'm just using a liquid liner, and this is my Stila Stay All Day, and I am just going to go 
so, so, so thin across my upper lid, right by my lash line. And I'm going to, I wish I got a close up of it. The line at the end, I'm not going to follow my natural shape of my eye down because my eyes do go down a little bit, um, like whenever they curve over. I'm just going to take it to kind of where my lashes are and then bring it straight out. And that's just going to make my eyes look a little bit bigger as well. Curling my lashes, you can do, you really want your lashes to just like vavoom up like curl up. So I curl them straight on and then I curl them at a 90 degree angle and that's really just going to get those ends. For your mascara to look more awake, you want to use a lengthening mascara and you want to take your, your wand and instead of pulling like towards your outer corner or anything like that, you really want to pull straight up towards your eyebrows. That is going to make sure, that's going to help to make sure that you really get your eyelashes separated and it's going to help to just pull them up. Obviously doing the zigzag motion is going to separate them as well, but this is really going to help to coat them and to just pull them up and look like, hey, how you doing? My eyes are super awake. Always, 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 if you want to look awake, do your lower lashes because that's really going to give you that doll doe-eyed effect. I don't like a lot of mascara on my lower lashes though, so I do take off like everything on the wand basically and just coat my lower lashes. Clearly I'm having issues. And if opening your mouth like that helps you, girl, you do it. I know it helps me. I don't know what I, mm -mm. they never turn out good if I don't like have my mouth gawking open like that. Judge me all you want. It's all cool. When I'm done doing my lashes, we're just going to get on with our face. And for my face, I'm just going to take this Ulta palette. Um, I forget the name, but I'm going to take the bronzer and I'm just going to warm up my skin. To look more awake, obviously, you don't want to have really just even toned, one toned skin. I mean, you want even, but not one toned skin. I'm going to warm up my face with a bronzer so that it gives me some color. And then I'm going to go in with a... Um, What's the word I'm looking for here? This is a HD blush. It's in headliner, which you guys cannot see there, but it is a like a liquidy, creamy blush from e.l.f. I'm going to go in with that because if you're tired and you have really dull skin, it's going to make you look even worse. But if you use stuff that kind of has a luminescence to it, it's really going to give your skin just this awesome glow. And that's what that does. It's not too pink. It just seriously gives you this flushed look on your face. I am going to go on with a highlighter. It's not a super highlighter. Um, it was actually my first time using it and it is the temp to that I got in my Ipsy bag. It's all right. I thought it was going to be a little bit more luminescent, but it does. It shines in the sun actually a lot better than I thought that it would, which is really what you want your highlighter to do is to shine right where the sun would hit you. So then I'm just going to go in with a lip gloss. I'm just going to do um, NARS Turkish Delight. It just gives a really nice pink to your look. And that is the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. As always, please subscribe.